Hey everybody, how are we doing today? What I'd like to talk about is um, some extended techniques on guitar and how to do them. So we're gonna start first with one that I really like. It's called the slide and it's exactly what it sounds like. You start on a certain fret on a certain string. Right now we're on the first fret of the B string, which is the note C because C is a half step above B and each fret raises the note a half step. If you look my finger, is very close to the fret line without actually being on top of it. And the reason is that when you put your finger down on a fret, the string actually makes contact on the fret line there. And the closer you can get to the line, the better contact it will make, and as such, the better sound it will make. So that's with my finger where it needs to be. That's what happens when it's not where it needs to be. So anyway, I'm going to play that same note, then I'm going to slide my finger down two frets to the third fret to get the note D. And the key thing is that I don't lift up on my finger. I keep steady contact. Do that one more time. So that's a slide. Now I'm gonna do a backwards slide, starting on three and going to one. Again, the key is not lifting your finger or breaking the contact between the string and the fretboard. I'll do that once more. Okay, so that's sliding. Here's a slight variation on sliding called the hammer on. So I'm gonna put my finger on the first fret and I'm gonna use a different finger to hammer on the third fret. Again, I wanna make sure that I'm hammering close to the fret line to get the best possible sound and that I don't release the first finger when I do the hammer on and that I don't accidentally mute the string. Now I'm gonna do the same thing in reverse, which is called a pull off. So make sure both fingers are down and firmly planted. Good, hammer on and then pull off. Cool. Next, I'm going to do a bend. And I found from my experience that the B string, second thinnest string, second highest pitch, is the easiest string to bend. So basically you play the string, make sure you have good contact and just bend up, but be careful not to break it. Or if you wanna go higher up. that's a bend. Now, if you're reading a piece of tablature for guitar, these are indicated usually by the first letter of the word. So for example, a hammer-on is indicated with an H, pull-off is indicated with a P, and the bend is indicated with a B, and the slide is indicated with a slash, either facing up or down. And one more I'm going to talk about is muting, which basically means that you're playing the guitar and strumming the strings, but they're actually not playing notes because you're only making partial contact with the strings. So I'm going to play this A bar chord five times, unmuted, and then I'm going to play it five times with only partial contact. So I'm not firmly pushing down, I'm just lightly resting my fingers on the strings. And you can do it such that you emphasize certain beats and certain rhythms. That, my friends, is muting. Have a good day.